Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein is reportedly in sex rehab this morning overseas. At least 25 women have publicly described inappropriate conduct by the disgraced studio boss. In an investigation published yesterday, The New Yorker claims three women accused Weinstein of sexual assault. And Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie told The New York Times that Weinstein sexually harassed them. Jerika Duncan spoke with The New Yorker reporter who uncovered an audio tape of Weinstein admitting forceful touching. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. The Weinstein Company is promising a full investigation. Multiple sources, past and present employees, told The New Yorker they witnessed touching and groping by Harvey Weinstein. And one of his alleged victims told us when she was 23, she suddenly found herself alone inside his New York City apartment. He came back out 100% fully naked. Catherine Kendall's meeting with Harvey Weinstein two decades ago is still fresh in her mind. Just give me a massage. Just let me kiss you. Well, you know, if you won't give me a massage, then will you at least pick up your shirt and let me see your breasts? And I'm like, no. I'm leaving. Ronan Farrow conducted a 10-month-long investigation for The New Yorker. There are 13 women in this story. Three of them are alleging rape. One of those women, Amber Badalana Gutierrez, says in 2015, Weinstein groped her and tried to put his hand up her skirt. She went to the NYPD, who asked her to wear a wire. The next day, Gutierrez recorded the conversation as Weinstein tried to get her into his hotel room. The audio was obtained by The New Yorker. Why you used to that? you touch my breast. Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Come but, on. Are you used please. to that? Yes, come in. Please. No, but I'm not used to that. I won't do it again. Come on. Sit here. Weinstein was questioned by the NYPD, but the Manhattan District Attorney declined to prosecute him. The Weinstein Company says it is shocked and dismayed by the allegations of extreme sexual misconduct and sex assault, which came as an utter surprise to the board. Farrow told me it appears there is a reason it took 20 years for this story to unfold. It's a culture of fear, but also a, a broad array of legal instruments, uh, settlements that were used, a machine designed to keep these claims quiet. To keep Harvey Weinstein safe? to keep him employed. Described in detail in this story is a legal and public relations team um, that had that very goal, yes. Weinstein's wife, Georgina Chapman, told People Magazine yesterday their 10-year-long marriage is over. They have two children. Former President and Mrs. Obama said in part yesterday they were disgusted by recent reports about Harvey Weinstein. Hillary Clinton said she was shocked and appalled. Weinstein hosted numerous Hollywood fundraisers over many election cycles for President Obama and then-Democratic nominee Clinton. One fundraiser at Weinstein's home in 2013 brought in over $2 million. Jerika, thank you. It's just disgusting, disturbing, all of it, to read it in full detail. Yeah, to hear the tape, too, is very chilling when you hear it, because his voice is so recognizable on that tape, and I'm sure more questions to come out of this. Absolutely. Yeah.